My God is the one and only true living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Moses. And my God is God. There is no other. My God is the God of Israel. And my God set his children free from captivity out of Egypt with a heavy, with a heavy, heavy hand. And my God parted the Red Sea for his children to cross on dry land. And my God, my God fed his children manna from heaven for 40 years in the desert. And that very same God loves his children today as much as he loved his children in the desert. My God. Awesome, awesome, awesome in power. Spoke the whole universe into existence with words. With words. Because words have meaning. Words have power. My God. My God. He is God. The Alpha and the Omega. From everlasting to everlasting. Without beginning, without end. My God is holy, righteous, and true. And my God's word will stand forever. My God is God. There is no other. For my God made all things, made everything, everything seen and unseen, everything known and unknown. My God made it all. For nothing, nothing exists that my God did not make. My God is God. And that's the God that I worship, that I adore, that I love. That's the God that I worship. That's the God that I worship. The great I am. The great I am. And I give all praise, all glory, all honor to my God. And his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And I pray, Lord, that I be pleasing to you in this work. I pray that I be pleasing to you. I pray that you be with me, that you lead me and guide me in your will. That you give me words to speak. Not my words, but your words, Lord. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. <clears throat> Amen. It's warm. Excuse me for wiping the sweat off my face. <clears throat> I am just the dust of the earth. And no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. But I am God's dirt. I want to go over something with you. I've noticed this for several years, but here recently it's become very apparent. And I, I want to ask if this has become apparent to you also. That it seems like here recently <clears throat> that when I see someone that's old, and I, and I mean very old, and in bad shape, health-wise, maybe like me, overweight, maybe like me, cripple, walking with a cane or a wheelchair or, or uh, with, a, with a walker. And, you know, I used to look at people like that and I, I would feel sorry for them, but, and I'd say a silent prayer for them. But I don't see them people like that no more. I don't, I don't see people like that no more. I mean, whatever their problem is, even I, I see them. I see them as as beautiful children of God. I see them how they will be, or how they could be, if they make heaven their home. Young, have color in their hair, running and skipping and jumping, dancing in the spirit in the spirit for God will wipe away every tear every tear and there will be no more pain no more suffering oh hallelujah 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 come Lord Jesus come that's our prayer but when I pray that I also pray that I will be done Lord that will be done I don't see people <clears throat> I don't even see myself as being old and wrinkled up and overweight and 
with all my health problems and, and everything else, I, I just don't see myself that way anymore. I see myself as a young man. Trim, fit. And I see myself running, jumping, skipping, hopping, and dancing in the spirit before Jesus. Dancing in the spirit before Jesus. And all I want to do, all I want to do when I see Jesus face to face, I want to fall at his feet. And I want to kiss his feet. Those, those same feet that walked the dusty roads of the Holy Land. And those very same feet that had nails driven in them for me and for you. I want to kiss those feet. Because he gave everything. He gave everything. He held nothing back for me and for you. So who are, who are we to hold anything back from him? We owe him everything. And then our reward for being faithful and true here is to be in paradise forever and ever with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What could be better than that? To walk on streets of gold. The thing that we find so valuable here on earth right now, gold. In heaven, it'll, it'll be paving stones. And we'll walk beside the crystal sea with water so clear you can see right to the very bottom of it. Everything will be perfect. And everything will be made new every single day. And we will get our light and our warmth from God the Father. Because it will radiate from right, as righteousness from Him. Everything will be perfect there. Everything will be perfect. And Bobby and I, we pray, we sincerely pray, that we see you and that we meet you on the streets of gold. Because you and me and Bobby and everyone else that makes it to heaven, they will be perfect. They'll have color in their hair. They will be young again. No more pain, no more suffering. Not a, not a tear is ever shed in heaven. But there is one. There is one that wears his scars. And that one is Jesus. He still wears the scars of the nail holes in his hands and in his feet and in his side. He does that to remind us, and the scars on his back also. He does that to remind us of the price that he paid for us. He paid a heavy, heavy price. And I owe him a debt that I could never, I could never repay. No amount of money could ever, ever repay what I owe Jesus. We all owe him a debt. So we need to be faithful and true. We need to be pleasing to God while we're here. We need to work for Jesus while we're here. Because the days are short and getting shorter. One day soon. One day soon. The faithful, the born again, the washed in the blood, we will go home to be with Jesus forevermore in the clouds. But those left behind, they will enter tribulation and it will be hell on earth. I know because I've seen it. I mean, I pray that you not be here. It's so easy. It's so easy to humble yourself before God and beg Jesus into your heart as your Savior. Repent of your sins. Repent of all your sin, all sin known and all sin unknown. And beg Jesus to enter into your heart as your Lord and Savior to give you a new heart. And beg and plead the blood of Jesus wash over you and wash away all your sin, all your sin. Wash you clean, wash you white as snow. Because that's the only way. That's the only way. So Bobby and I, we pray. We pray sincerely and humbly that we see you on the streets of gold one day very soon. God bless you. God keep you in yours. In his loving arms just like he held me. And in that dream where Jesus held me in his arms, 
I felt a love, an indescribable love, a love that, that there were no bounds, that without understanding, without meaning, without comprehension, a love that <clears throat> that's indescribable, pure love. God loves us that much. And he doesn't want anyone to be lost and go to hell. But see, that's not his decision. That's yours, and that's mine. So, Bobby, we pray for you. If you're lost, we pray for you. We beg you to repent of sin. <clears throat> Bobby and I, we love each and every one of you. And we thank God. We thank God for sending you to us. God bless you. God keep you. It's our prayer.